Hey, what up guys? And in this one, I'm gonna take you through my round at a private course called Corral de Tierra. This is in the city of Corral de Tierra, which is close to Fort Ord, and then also 30 minutes east of the Monterey Peninsula area. So let's head out to the course and see how I did. All right, the first tee shot here is a beautiful downhill into a valley tee shot, kind of like Wente actually. Um, as you can see, beautiful views and great weather. It's gonna be a good day. Next up, just, you know, First swing of the day onto the course, hit a little bit short and a little bit to the left, so I'm gonna have to get up and down for my par. Here's my chip attempt, and for some reason it flares out to the right, and so at least I'm on the green and I'm putting, but yeah, it's a really funny ball that came off the face for this chip. Here's my putt, and as you can see, the greens were rolling pretty decent, and I roll it right by, so pick up the bogey on the first hole. Next up is a short par four, and I take out my driving iron. As you know, if it's 350 yards or less, I tend to take out the driving iron because I can faithfully put it into the fairway, and this is no exception. Uh, here's my approach shot into the green, and I'm hitting a pretty decent shot, and I have a green and regulation on the second hole. Can't complain about that at all. So here's my putt attempt, and it tracks pretty good here, and I end up getting close enough for a tap-in. So uh, bogey par, one over through two, let's go. Next up is a shorter par 5, uh, so I just hit something out there safely into the fairway, and I'm really liking my position. Uh, next up, I just hit a iron to what I think is roughly about 75 yards, because you know that's a full 56 for me. So if I can get my next shot within that 56 degree wedge range, that's what I like the most and I prefer. So here's my wedge shot into the green, and I do make a pretty good approach shot, I must say. Uh, and here is my birdie attempt. Yeah, and unfortunately, I just hit that one by. Uh, so here's the returner on that. And we're good to go. So bogey, par, par, really good start to the day. Let's keep on going. All right, for this one, I just didn't want to be on the water in the right. And once you do that, as you know, you always overcompensate. So I end up tugging this one to the left and being quote, unquote, safe. But now I have a long chip for my up and down. So there's my up and down attempt. End up rolling it pretty decently. Uh, and here's my look at saving my par. Yeah, no dice. So end up not getting par here. Uh, that's kind of my fault, being too cautious with the water on the right. Uh, but yeah, just tapping in for bogey, two over. All right, so not exactly knowing how to play this hole, I end up hitting this ball out to the right even though it is a dog like left so I kind of hit through the you know the landing area where you should be so my next shot I actually end up pulling to the left and unfortunately what I didn't know is that that's just a you know a wire fence that's over there and it hit it out of bounds so I hit another ball and this one I end up chunking it a little short and unfortunately yeah I have a lot of work just to get up and down here's my up and down shot just to get onto the green and then here's my look and my next putt. And I end up missing that. So with an OB, I end up getting a triple bogey. So all that good work in the beginning kind of erased. Uh, like you see, another short par four, 360 yards this time. So I saw that it was a red flag, so still ended up taking driving iron. Uh, so next up, here's my approach into the green. And this one gets barely off to the left of the green. Uh, and I have to get up and down now for my par. So here is my chip. And it actually ends up being pretty decent here. Uh, end up rolling it pretty close. So I just have a tap in for yeah, yeah, my par. Okay. So making some you know Thanks. progress again after that triple bogey. Again, another short par four, 350 yards. Just take out the driving iron. I have no issues. And I hit it right into the middle of the fairway. All right, next is an uphill approach shot into the green. Uh, this ends up being a little shorter than I anticipated, but hey, at least I got on and the green and regulations are happening, so I have no complaints. Here's my birdie attempt. As you can see, they're rolling pretty decent out there. I uh, ended up rolling this one and not making it, so I end up tapping in for my par and we're good to go. Next up is a decent uh, length par three. And as you can see, the green regulation train continues. So if it weren't for that triple, I feel like I would be in a pretty good place. So here's my birdie attempt. And as you can see, don't quite make it another par. 
All right, next up is a short par five. End up taking a wood here because if you hit it too far, it seemed like there was a ditch in front that you could potentially reach. So here's my second shot. Unfortunately, ended up flaring it to the right and not putting myself in good position to hit onto the green and my next shot. So this one, this shot here is interesting enough. I just wanted to hit over the trees. Didn't care that where it landed. As long as I'm around the green, I can get up and down. I just didn't want to hit a tree and get backwards progress. So chipping on, this is to try to get up and down and not the best attempt I must say, but at least I'm putting. And as you can see, short putt, missed it. So I ended up getting a bogey here after an errant second shot. All right, for this next shot, I don't know what overcame me here. I think I hit a hill and it kicked forward, but this ended up going out real far. And I did hit a really good drive. It felt super solid, but I didn't think it went this far. So I had a short wedge into the green and I was kind of frustrated because my brother who was like 50 yards Stop further here. than me ended up hitting closer than I did. Um, and so this is my birdie attempt wow. and I roll it by. So don't get the birdie here, but just picked up the par. Um, but you know, can't complain about starting par on the back nine. So after hitting such a great drive on the last hole, I end up hitting the wimpiest wedge into this short, short par three. It barely makes this ravine, and I, if I hit it any shorter, it would have rolled back and gone into the junk. So here's my chip. I didn't want to, you know, adjust my camera, so I just got me, you know, chipping on, but I actually end up chipping it very close. So here is my par attempt. And I get up and down for par. So for such a bad tee shot, I save myself with the chip. Next up, a shorter par four, 362 yards, took out the driving iron again. As you can see, it's working out for me, so why change something that's working? Here is my approach shot. Uh, end up going a little bit right of my target, but overall pretty happy with it. And here is my putt for birdie. So I had a lot of good putts and looks for birdie, but yeah, I couldn't get him to fall that day for some reason. So there's another par. So next up is this interesting par five where you can't hit actually too far off the tee. I think maybe 200 yards is kind of the best bet where you're on the fairway. I take driver and end up being in this riverbed. And if there was water, obviously I'd be penalized. So I end up taking my 50 degree because there's rocks in here and I don't want to you know, ruin my clubs. So I end up taking the layup and here's my third shot and up being a, a, a little bit short here. And so unfortunately I have to chip on and try to get up and down uh, to save my par. So here's my chip. And yeah, don't end up rolling this one too well. It ends up going by the hole and here's my attempt. Yeah, not very good. So uh, all in all, yeah, I end up with a bogey here in a very strange par five. All right, next up, I end up slicing my driver super hard to the right. Uh, and luckily, it's just another fairway over there, so I'm actually having a pretty good lie. Like I said, the, the fairways here are really nice, and the greens are in immaculate condition. So here's this next shot. I hit a thin two iron just to get back into the other fairway and give myself an approach shot to the green. So pretty easy approach shot. Pretty happy with the result of this. And I have a pretty decent look at par. Um, so overall, with that sliced drive, I'm still in a position to, to save it here. So here's the putt. And yeah, just ended up being a little bit short here, but can't complain with a two putt and a bogey from my drive that went wayward right. So there's not a ton of water on this course, but you know what? I end up finding it here off my next tee shot, and I end up just re-teeing and hitting another one. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, so playing with a, a hazard ball and a reteeing and actually hit the second one really good. So just like that, always player two hits it better, right? But you get an extra practice shot. Uh, this next one, I had hit up a wedge uh, decently close to the pin. And so I have a chance to, you know, kind of recover my score here. And here's my putt. Yeah, and I just end up burning it by. So uh, not bad, you know, recovery after hitting it into the water. Um, but yeah, double bogey. So not not good with the tee shots and you know penalty shots. All right, next up is another strange par five. This is all uphill, and I end up hitting it into the same riverbed that I was on the other par five. And so here's my shot out of that, and it wasn't great as you can see. I just hit it really thin. But you know what? I can still get my third shot on. So here's my attempt to hit into the green. And I thought this was really good. I thought, man, okay, I'm gonna be on the green, I'll be putting for putting for birdie, and this is where I end up, unfortunately. Like it's gonna be okay. So as you can see, this is where 
uh, some madness begins. I end up chunking the chip here, or the sand shot. Then I end up flaring it out to the right and blading it, so not good. End up chunking it here, so I'm just compounding, compounding errors, chipping it on, and I'm just trying to save my score here. And I was lucky to even get a triple bogey after this one. So if you haven't heard it now, the wind is really picking up, and I absolutely peered this 5-iron. I thought this was going to be all over it. But lo and behold, I ended up being a little short, and guess what? In the trap. So now I have trap redemption, and actually this one turns out being a lot better than my trap shots on the previous hole. So here's my attempt to save my par, and I don't get the sandy, but I'll tap in bogey. And after that really demoralizing previous hole, I'm just happy to get out of the trap in one. So this finishing hole is a great finishing hole. Really tough tee shot, really narrow fairway, either right in the trees or left in the water. So I opt for the trees on the right. And here's my next shot. So I end up keeping it pretty low and pulling it just a tad, but now I'm just in the front of the green area and I'm gonna have a pretty simple approach onto the green. Just gotta get over those traps and not too far to roll off. And as you can see, my camera unfortunately fell. And here is my par save attempt. And yeah, I don't quite get it. So overall, I didn't really roll that many putts in, didn't uh, drive at the greatest, but my approach shots were pretty good. I ended up having a lot of looks at birdie. All right, as you can see, didn't put my best, but had a great time at Crowd de Tierra. This was probably the best maintained course that I've ever played. Uh, that's probably because you know it's a private course it doesn't get a ton of play because it's limited membership and you know they just do a great job out there maintaining that place the greens were immaculate the fairways were super lush all the tee boxes were nice and flat and you know not too many divots so yeah i had a great time uh, ultimately they decided to go with a membership there i think we did like the track a little bit better at quail lodge um, but yeah, this is a great little course out here and it has a lot to offer. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Uh, more to come and I'll see you in the next one.